It's a vlog day. Today's video is sponsored by Manscaped and their new Lawnmower 3.0 Waterproof Ultimate Body Clippers. We're gonna talk about that later. We're gonna we're gonna start 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 the vlog now. Every morning when I wake up, the first thing I do is I put on my contacts and then I brush my hair. This morning, <laughs> I just snapped off the brush handle. Just It just snapped right off as I was trying to brush. That's how I'm starting my day. Well, good morning, everybody. I hope that you all have been swimming well and just crushing it in your respective sports or activities. It is 5.55 a.m. right now, and we are going to the pool. My kitchen is a straight up disaster right now. Allie would probably be really pissed. Really pissed if I showed you guys this. I'm not gonna do that. Now I am a bit of a neat freak and Allie is also very organized. So our house is normally super clean. But our kitchen right now. Sad story, our favorite grocery store, Lucky's, is going out of business here in town, it's closing. So right now, everything in the store is 50% off, so Ali stocked up and just bought a ton of stuff. You got enough, you got enough bars there? Would you like one? <laughs> I've got a few extra I can share. <laughs> It originally was almost like 530, but I got it down to 391, baby. So 400 up. Have you guys joined my club yet? The Polar Bear Club. We're gonna talk about that in a sec. But first, first I've gotta say, I'm really, really sad that my favorite grocery store closed. I used to go there like two, three times a week. Allie and I would go every Sunday together. It was like our weekend thing. It's a little bit of a bummer. Anyway, let's talk about the Polar Bear Club. ACDC is one of my all-time favorite bands. Sorry, I got in the car, I got distracted. Anyway, the Polar Bear Club. I have now been swimming in the Polar Bear Club, grinding out yards, doubles nearly every single day for basically a full month. What does that mean? Now, in principle, the Polar Bear Club just means that no matter who you are, you're going to as many workouts as you can, you're trying your absolute best, you're crushing it, and then you're relishing everything everything that you're doing. You're in the moment. I mean, that's, that's just it in simple principle. What that means for me is I'm doing... I just realized, I am literally the first person to show up here. There's not a single other car in the parking lot. Killing it. So what that means for me is I have been going 10 swim workouts a week. I double swim Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Single swim Wednesday, Saturday. I lift, I'm in the weight room, three times a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm doing Pilates at least once a week. Been doing that on Friday, so technically Fridays have been four workouts. I'm going to see my PT John four times a week. My whole life at this moment revolves around making sure that I'm doing everything to allow myself to swim fast every single day. Some people would say, Cody, isn't that too much working out? Isn't that just too much? I mean, three triples a week, that's crazy. To which I would say, I love that stuff. It's a little bit satisfying walking in here when the lights are still off, you know what I mean? Over the last four and a half weeks, I have swam more in this period of time, in one month of training, than I have in probably four or five years. Which is exciting because it means I'm building up that base for the summer, getting ready to go. Today's gonna be a good one too. Well, would you look at this? The pool is all set up for racing, for speed. Not for us, there's actually a meet today. The team has a dual meet today, which is why we're here extra early on a Saturday, a little behind the scenes, today's Saturday. And because of that, the pros and anyone not swimming in the meet is gonna have a workout beforehand, and then right when we finish, they're gonna, they're gonna start their meet. Look at all these people rolling in as one long snake-like unit, not getting here early to stretch out. Today's practice is going to be, you know what? I don't even, hey John, what, or, what, what is our workout today? There is a fast pace set, but the pace reps have different, either 50s or 75s. 
It looks kind of long. It does look kind of long. And then, it's like it. and then it's twice through. And it's twice through. <laughs> good, good, of course. Nice. So the 75s and the 50s pace are on the same interval, which makes perfect no. sense. What about, what about Lily? Your favorite sprinter? Um, Lily is a mid D person, so <laughs> she would be in the 75 category. She's doing 150s and For seven. pain and glory. Lily has a new nickname for me. Um, your new name is Cody Myler because uh, apparently you slow distance now. Straight up machine. Um, you don't take rest anymore. Nobody needs rest. It's unnecessary. Just like when Ray says you don't need air, it's overrated. That's my you one of my that's know. one of my favorite Ray quotes when he's like, oxygen is overrated. And I'm like, is it though? Those are the rules. In order to make it in the vlog, you gotta be inspiring. Right. Say something inspiring. Come on, okay. Man. Come on. You're a fresh something inspiring. Let's go. Um, <sighs> Hard work is makes good people. Yes, yes. in the pool. Very inspiring. Oh, Kai makes me laugh. I will technically now be the second person in the pool. Lil, clear the runway, Lily. Clear the clear the runway. Got to hurt my butt a little bit. So today's set is a 200 pace plus 100 pace set 75s 50s and 25s on a downhill slope if you know what that means uh, I'm just gonna throw it up there for you right now we are halfway through the set everyone's flying nobody's dying hardest part of the set is a dive 75 on a minute into the push 50 and then it gets better after there but that's where the meat of the pain is yeah, and Ray just eliminated the only rest 25 we get. Because too much rest. <laughs> I love it when Ray takes away the easy. We don't need it. You don't need rest where we're going. Ah, here we go. Time to go kamikaze on the 75. Kill yourself before the 50s. Two more. Two more 25s for victory and glory. You're gonna make it? Believe. Let's go, yeah, come on. Two more. Summon the power. On the last one. That's a sub. Oh. Crushed it. Good job, Laura. Yay, Bailey. Hey. Oh, goodness. Thank you. That was powerful. All right, let's get out of here. Hey. Oh, goodness. I'm sneezing a lot. Whew. Oh man, it's it's kind of snowy. It's like kind of snowing just like a little bit right now. That was a very rewarding, fun, Saturday morning practice. See, look, there's snow in my car. <sighs> now, Saturday is my second favorite practice of the week. It's my second favorite day of training of the week. It's a great feeling finishing a Saturday workout strong, knowing that you have the rest of the weekend ahead of you. However, it is nothing compared to my love of Monday morning training. Monday morning is easily my favorite day of training of the week. Having the whole week ahead of you, every single day to just grind, like, ugh. I look forward to, to particularly Monday mornings. They had breakfast. Good morning, Puff. How are you doing? They're eating it right morning, now. Morning, Lego. Allie's favorite thing in the world, working a puzzle while watching Criminal Minds, the Allie weekend special. You look pretty today. Have you been watching Criminal Minds with, with Allie, Puffy Girl? Is it scaring you yet? 
All right, everybody. Today's video is sponsored by Manscaped. Anyone who's been following me for a while now knows that I'm a huge fan of Manscaped's Perfect Package Essential Kit, which is the world's first all-in-one manscaping kit, which makes it nice and easy. Keep it right here. And I also have my travel bag, so I've actually got I've actually got two. Now you guys have seen me talk about their products before, like my favorite safety razor, the Plow, or my favorite product of theirs, the Ball Deodorant. I mean, how could you not love a company that makes ball deodorant? I mean, it's just it's just the best. And just when you think Manscaped has it all figured out, they take it to the next level. I'm excited to tell you that after 18 months of research and development, the new Lawnmower 3.0 Ultimate Waterproof Body Trimmer has just been released. You guys know how important body clippers are for swimmers, particularly for swimmers like me. Ooh, it's even got an LED light for when you're grooming down below, you don't cut yourself. Not that you can, because it's a safety razor, see? So it's clearly total, totally safe. It comes with a recharge station, so you just plug that sucker in. It has a nice ergonomic shape, and the thing I'm most excited about is a brand new battery for up to 90 minutes of use time. That's pretty freaking awesome. I want to use this thing, but I can't, I can't shave my junk on on kit. Hey Allie, yeah. can you come here for a minute please? Yeah. Thank you. I was blessed or cursed with a super hairy back. Is it doing a good job? I hope our kids aren't so hairy. They'll definitely be hairy. Oh yeah. It's giving me goosebumps and it feels good. Look, look, look at my arm, I have goosebumps. Reminds me of last year when you just threw all the hair out in the snow. <laughs> and it was snowy on the deck and then all you see is like chunks that. of here. You guys, my subscribers, can get 20% off your order plus free shipping when you order the Perfect Package 3.0 at manscaped.com. Just use my promo code Cody. And for a limited time, my subscribers get two free gifts. You get the Shed travel bag for free and a pair of Manscaped's patented anti-chafing boxer briefs. Listen, ladies, Valentine's Day is coming up and this is like, you know, it's like the, the perfect gift for that kind of thing. So next week, I am going to be attempting what I'm calling the Man of Steel week. So essentially, to cap off my month of grinding and training in the Polar Bear Club, I'm gonna finish it strong with the hardest week possible. So next week, you guys are seeing this video on Friday. So starting Monday, I'm going to double every single day. So I'm gonna do, here's, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to do 11 swim workouts in six days. That's double Monday through Friday, single Saturday. I'm lifting three days a week, so that's lift Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm doing Pilates at least once, maybe twice and also throwing in a session of yoga there. So that's gonna be about 16 workouts in six days, something I've never done before, more than I've ever done before. You see, not that long ago, I was at a point in my life where I was very limited, I was coming off of an injury, or I was injured, and I was incapable of doing the things that I love. I was incapable of pushing myself to the max. I didn't feel like I was making any progress and I was stuck in a rut. And now, now that I've recovered and come out on the other side, and I know that this is the buildup to the Olympics, I just want to do everything that I possibly can to prepare myself. And for me, specifically for me, this is not this is not the same for everybody. This is not the same for all swimmers. But for me, I want to push myself to my breaking point so that when I stand up on the blocks, when the time comes, I feel like there's nothing I could have done to prepare myself better for this moment, right? Like I put myself in as much pain and as much discomfort to where there's no reason to have any doubt. And some people might disagree with that. Some people might think that's stupid. Some people, you know, there, there's, there's a lot of ways to train. There's a lot of ways to do things, but I've done things a certain way my whole life, my whole swimming career, and just the sheer fact that I'm able to train a lot, like that I'm able to grind and I'm able to pound these yards right now, I feel very lucky, I feel very grateful, and I go into the pool every day looking forward to discomfort, seeking discomfort. And I'm at a point in my training and in my swimming where, hey Puff, I'm trying to, I'm trying to give like a little talk to my audience here. Come here. I'm at a point in my training and swimming where this might be the last real go round where I'm able to really push myself this far, this hard for this extended period of a time and it's the perfect time because we're leading into the summer. Anyway, I'm, I'm going off on a tangent here. I'm excited for next week's training. I'm calling it the Man of Steel week. It's going to be great. 
Thank you, thank you, Puff. So my question to you guys is, I'm gonna do a vlog on one day during the week. What day do you guys wanna see? Would you rather see a speed day where we're doing sprint sets, where we're doing lactate sets? Would you see rather see a distance day where we're doing a ton of volume? Tell me, let me know in the comment section below what kind of workout, what, what, would, you, what would you most like to see? Okay, now, we have a couple shout outs this week. Bryn, I hope I'm saying her name right. Thank you for letting me know. I love hearing feedback from people of all different levels of swimming, whether this is your first month or your 10th year, whatever it is. Thanks for letting me know. I love our friendly swimming community. Beast, as much as I appreciate this, you need to dream bigger. Hanging out with me is very much overrated, highly overrated. Zach, congrats on going to best time in the 50 free. That's awesome. Brian, your first race in four years. Congratulations. Thank you for sharing that with me. That is, that is super, super cool. And finally, Brock, thank you for shouting out my merch. Very much appreciated. Polar Bear Club shirts are available. There's only a few left in stock. Wall supplies last once they're sold out. That's it, it's over forever. Well, maybe not Maybe not forever, but at least, at least for this year. That's it for me, guys. Thank you for supporting me and my YouTube channel. I appreciate it. Make sure you guys are following me on social media, at Swim Miller on Twitter and at Cody Miller on Instagram. Vlogs every Wednesdays and sometimes Fridays, like, like today's. Here you go, Lego, play with Puff, play with Puff. Please share my videos with your swimmer friends. That really helps me. And until my next video, I will see you guys later.